Hey everybody, Nick Lucamelli here, back on Technique Feed. Today, what we're talking about is stretching. Stretching is something that's prescribed often in musculoskeletal care. What does it do? Why are we stretching? Why are we, why are we prescribing stretches to someone? And it's important to know the why behind uh, why we do things, right? So when it comes to a stretch, and we're talking about stretching in the sense of a 30 second hold uh, for three times, for example, what we're doing is we're not physically lengthening our tissues. We're not structurally lengthening, lengthening our muscles. It doesn't happen that fast. And, and what we're doing is, yes, we see improvements in range of motion and flexibility, but what's likely happening is we're, we're improving our tolerance to that stretched position. So our muscles are kind of letting go of some of that um, unconscious tone as we hold, as we bring them into end range, hold them in those positions, breathe in, breathe out, kind of let that get um, adapted to that, uh, that point in the range of motion, and then it improves our tolerance to that stretch. But we're likely not physically lengthening our tissues. So that little window of improved range of motion and flexibility is usually pretty short-lived. Now, the way that we make this longer term is by adding progressive loading to it. So that being said, one of my favorite ways to stretch is resistance training, right? Think about a Romanian deadlift. A Romanian deadlift, in my opinion, is one of the best ways to improve hamstring flexibility because we are not only stretching the hamstring, we're stretching the hamstring under load. So we're getting into the range of motion, we're eccentrically lengthening the hamstrings into their end range holding at that bottom position and then coming back up. And as we do that more and more, we can improve the flexibility of the hamstrings uh, with that combination of a loaded stretch. Another example of a time when we can use loaded stretching is when trying to improve overhead range of motion. In this example, I'm holding the medicine ball and I'm controlling it as it pulls me into my end range. So I'm eccentrically lengthening those structures just like in the Romanian deadlift. And similar to the previous example, once we get to that end range, once we allow that weight and control that weight to pull us into our end range, it's important to cue deep breathing. Take a deep breath in, breathe out, and as the patient exhales, you'll likely see that ball drift down toward the table more. Obviously, if someone has pain at their limited uh, end range, we don't want to just have them hanging out there with, with load. So you can bolster up a few pillows or kind of build the table up so that it supports their arm just at their end range so that they're able to bring the arm into the edge of discomfort, allow them to kind of breathe through there, and then bring it back. With this example, I would probably follow an exercise like this with something like a weighted wall slide because now we're able to actively uh, push that arm into our end range against gravity and with load and we're able to self-regulate it too because the patient can lean into the wall to get a bit more overhead range of motion or they could stand back a little bit to limit the range of motion. But either way, once we've achieved that new range of motion lying on the table, we're able to now activate it and actually use it under load. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Technique Peak. It is great to be back, and uh, we'll see you next time.